guys, welcome back to the channel. Monica Loop here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from mid-May to mid-June. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aries, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Aries, is the Seven of Swords. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. So Aries, your challenge from mid-May to mid-June is the Seven of Swords. I do feel like a lot of you are still getting over some sort of betrayal. Someone here may have betrayed you. Maybe they weren't honest with you. Maybe someone here took advantage of you. We're going to clarify this and see why it's your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Aries, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Strength. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel like there was somebody here who, you know, they were really interested in you. Okay, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, I'm getting a Leo here, maybe a Cancer. This person really liked you. Like, they saw you, they're like, woo, Aries, yeah, I want to be with them, I really like them. I do feel like this person was moving really slowly, so you may have not really understood exactly what they wanted here in the past, but they were also really determined, you know, to offer you love. Someone here was acting like they weren't interested or they were acting kind of like nonchalant, like, mm, I don't know, we'll see how things go. That's what I'm seeing here in the past, but we're going to clarify and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Four of Wands, the Chariot, and the Lovers. Somebody here is really determined to have a relationship with you, to move forward. It's like they want to solidify this. Now, one of the things I want to mention to you in tropical astrology uh, is that Jupiter, I believe, I'm pretty confident and sure that Jupiter has entered into your sign, depending on what astrology you follow. I specifically follow tropical astrology, so I'm a Western astrologer. So based on that, I'm really strongly getting that there is an opportunity for a relationship uh, for you, okay, this time around. Someone here really likes you, wants to move forward. We're going to find out more about this in a moment. In the near future, you have the Eight of Cups, the Judgment, and the Three of Pentacles. So Something here is going to come to major realization. You're going to realize something really big here. I do feel there's going to be a decision. Now, one of the other things I'm also intuitively getting is somebody here wants to get married to you. They want to be in a relationship with you. They like you. They just want to make sure that you like them too. And there's like a solid, you know, uh, connection here. Okay, so there's a decision. The decision in the near future has a lot to do with whether or not you're going to walk away from this potential relationship or are you realizing that there's an opportunity to work things out with this person and move forward. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Cups in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, Two of Wands, Queen of Wands, Higher Font, and you have the Two of Cups. Okay, all in reverse. So what you don't see coming is there is going to be an opportunity for you and this specific person to come out of separation. Some of you are still in love with someone here. Like I said, I do feel this is someone from your past that you've forgotten about or you disconnected from. Even if this isn't someone from your past, I feel like a lot of you have disconnected from the idea of love because of something here that happened in the past. So there's two types of you. There's those of you who had a bad experience in the past and ever since you had a bad experience in this in the past, you've kind of turned your back on love or you've been not really interested in being in love or wanting to be in love. And there's others of you that are still in love with someone that you've been in separation with for quite some time. Uh, but it looks like for many of you, there will be an opportunity to get married. Now, some of you have already gotten married and you know what you want. But for those of you who are still kind of in this dilemma of, of trying to figure out, do I want to marry this person? Do I want to get back with them? Do I even want to get married in the first place is something that I feel like a lot of you are going to be experiencing. Okay. And this is what you don't see coming for many of you. And this is why, f um, for many of you, you have the Ace of Cups in reverse because there is a new love or there's a new opportunity in love. But it, you know, for those of you who need the reading it's been blocked it's not all of you that are experiencing that but for those of you that need the reading that's what I'm seeing 
All right, so let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Okay, so the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Temperance, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. Your biggest challenge here, Aries, has a lot to do with trust issues, like I said. There's still a lot of trust issues when it comes to you starting new projects, being involved in new things, starting new opportunities. And for many of you, there is an opportunity that will present itself. Now, one of the things I want to tell you, very important, hopefully you're listening, Okay, one of the most important things I have to tell you is I'm going to go back to what I said to you before. You have Jupiter in your sign right now, which means this year from now until the end of the year, it's going to be one of the most luckiest times for you. And there will be an opportunity for you to move into a new direction. This opportunity that is coming into your life is one that is going to take its time. It's not going to happen right away for you. But if you're able to identify this opportunity, it can really turn into something big for you. When you first see this opportunity as a new beginning, you're not going to see it as something big. You're going to say, mm, whatever, that's a small opportunity. It's nothing it's nothing important to me. And that's where you're going to, that's where there may be some sort of mess up because you may look at something as small, unimportant, not, not even worth your time. And little do you know, it's actually something that's going to allow you to move into the new direction that you want. Part of the reason why a lot of you are hesitant on moving forward to this opportunity is because First of all, this opportunity looks small and insignificant. And the second thing is you were betrayed in the past. And because of this betrayal that happened in the past, a lot of you don't trust or you need time in order to trust to have this new beginning. But you have to be careful because this opportunity that's coming in may, be, may turn into something bigger than you had anticipated. And that's your challenge is what I'm seeing. Let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles in the recent past. So the Knight of Pentacles in the recent past is clarified by the Ten of Cups. You have the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. So in the recent past, there was someone here that um, wanted to get married to you. I do feel like there was a very big opportunity to commit yourself and get married. And for many of you, you did get married in the past. Okay, or you recently got married is what I'm seeing. This connection is a very strong connection, but I'm also seeing in the past somebody here acted this could have been you. You could have acted uninterested or you may have tested this person to see if they really wanted you. And no matter what, this person was very determined to be with you. Very determined. They did whatever, whatever, whatever was required to get your attention to get with you is what I'm seeing. Okay. But a lot of tests and challenges happened here in the past. Now, in the present moment, uh, it looks like someone here is ready to move forward with you. It looks like there's a very strong connection here, very strong relationship. I do see Cupid has, uh, you know, shot its bow and arrow, meaning there is a very strong commitment, maybe even a marriage here. Tell me more about this commitment, the lovers here in the present moment for Aries. So the lovers is clarified by the queen of pentacles, the moon and the ace of swords. Someone here in the present moment, depending on where you are in your journey right now, someone here is really determined to be with you. Whoever this person is, there's somebody who's stable, they're solid. This person hides their emotions. They're not really 100% open with their emotions, but they do things for you. It's like they do little things that, you know, show you Aries that they're interested, that they want to be with you. But... One of the things that I'm seeing here, okay, is that whoever this person is that's offering love to you, number one, they want to move forward with you. Number two, they want a solid relationship with you. But the most important thing, which is number three, is they want truth and clarity from you to make sure that we're, you know, it's it's almost like this person saying, I want to make sure that we're on the same page here. Because what I'm seeing this person wanting with you is stability and to move forward. But if you act sometimes like you're not interested or you give this person some sort of false hope, they may question this relationship from time to time. And that's the only issue I'm seeing here in the present moment. A lot of you are just listening to this right now in the present moment because you need that confirmation to know that this person's genuine and that they want to be with you. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here in the present moment for many of you. Tell me more about the chariot. What does Aries need to know in the present moment? 
So the chariot is clarified by the seven of cups. You have the knight of pentacles and the fool. This is all about someone here in the present mo moment, excuse me, wanting to know what the relationship is going to entail in the near future. Like I said, a lot of you are going to be having options. Some of you are going to see that this person, there's something here, Aries, about you ignoring someone or acting like you're not really interested. But over time, you realize, you know what, maybe this is someone that I can move forward with. Maybe this is the person that I'm meant to be with. So for many of you, in order to have this new beginning, if this is something that you want, a lot of you need to get clear on 100% in terms of what you see or how you see this relationship moving forward forward because it is a solid relationship it is one that can really lead to a new beginning that is successful if you want let's talk about the recent or let's talk about the near future for you now in the near future i'm getting somebody here um there's going to be some sort of realization major realization here and I don't know how to say this, but I'm intuitively getting there's going to be a small test. There's going to be a small test here in the near future. And the test in the near future has a lot to do with whether or not you're choosing to disconnect from this person or open to cooperating with them. Tell me more about the judgment. What is Aries realizing here in the near future? So the judgment is clarified by the two of pentacles. You have the ace of cups and the high priestess. There's definitely a decision that needs to be made here. I think I did mention that. Uh, it is showing up in the near future. So somebody here wants to know, for those of you that need the reading, they want to know if there is a possibility of having a new beginning with you. They want to know if you're open to new love. They want to know if you feel the same way about them. And as a result of that, somebody here comes to some sort of realization that a decision has to be made. The decision that has to be made is, are we open to working things out and cooperating and moving forward? Or are you choosing to disconnect from this situation? Either way, a decision has to be made, depending on whatever you choose. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Why is it here in the near future? So the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Hermit, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Someone here in the near future, like I said, they, they're going to be doing a lot of thinking. There's going to be maybe a lack of communication or, you know, conversating about this situation because someone here in the near future is single or they're choosing to be on their own. But at the same time, I'm seeing here, okay, some of you are dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn. I'm getting Virgo, maybe a Taurus. I'm also getting another... Uh, I'm also getting a water sign. So a Scorpio, maybe a Pisces here. I feel like someone here is going to try to work things out with you. Okay, because there is a small test here. There's something here about working things out between you and this person. And it could have a lot to do with something here in the past. Maybe there was a conflict in the past that you still need to resolve with someone here. That's why the five of wands is in reverse. Tell me more about the three of pentacles for Aries. So the three of pentacles is clarified by the knight of swords. You have the four of wands and the three of swords. Yeah. So in the near future, someone here is wanting to resolve a third party situation, wanting to resolve some sort of pain from the past that's still lingering in the relationship. There's two stories I'm getting here, Aries. The first one I'm getting is someone here wants to have a new beginning with you. They want to be with you, but they know that in order to have this new beginning with you, something here needs to be resolved from some sort of... Um, from some sort of past experience that you had, okay, number one. Number two, this is also about you letting go of something here that happened in the past in regards to being betrayed, seven of swords, which is your challenge, in order to have the happiness that you seek. Because it's one thing to have a relationship or having a new opportunity, but still having this feeling within yourself that, oh, well, someone can take advantage of me. Someone, you know, could lie to me. Someone could betray me. What if this happens? And sure, you can feel that. You can feel like that could possibly happen. But what spirit is telling you is, is that that's unresolved emotions that you still have within yourself. And that's why the seven of swords is your challenge, along with the ace of wands, because those opportunities are going to show up. But if you're in this energy of believing that every opportunity that shows up has a potential to be one that's going to be part of betrayal, lies, deception, deceit, then in a way you're just creating that anxiety within yourself. And spirit doesn't want to see that happen. They want to see that you're confidently going into some sort of situation, whether that be love, whether that be a job, whatever it is that you're pursuing, you're pursuing it without any 
how do I put this, without putting any preconceived notions, which means assuming that something's going to go wrong before it actually goes wrong. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in the near future. Things can go either way. It depends on whether or not you realize what needs to change within you and whether or not the person that you're dealing with is realizing what needs to change in order to have this successful union. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing here in the near future. So let's get some advice. Wow, you got four cards. Okay. Well, they came in reverse, so I'm just going to read them reverse. You have the Hermit in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, and the Justice in reverse. So what this is telling me is, is that in order for you to completely move forward, okay, your biggest piece of advice here is not to disconnect from opportunities Okay, by assuming that the same thing that you experienced in the past is what is going to happen again. There's something here, Aries, about you resolving some sort of thought. There's, I don't know how to put it, but there's something that you believe in your mind and it's like, it's like constantly going, it, how do I say this? It's like, you think of something and you think it's going to happen again and again and again. It's something that happened in the past. And you're afraid that the situation that happened in the past is going to replay itself again. You need to be able to go within yourself and set something right that happened in the past. Okay. And the best way to be able to do that is forgiving, accepting something here that didn't work out in the past and not assuming that whatever happened in the past is going to replay itself. The only reason why certain situations in our life replay and it happens over and over again is because we didn't learn the lesson. That's the only reason. It's not because the spirit wants to torture you or spirit is mad at you. It's because there's something here that you still need to learn. Once you learn why something failed and didn't work out in the past, you're going to be able to accept it. And once you show the universe that you've accepted it and you no longer have any more attachment to it, that's when something within you is going to be set right. Okay. Even if you don't have control on setting something right with someone outside of you, it's about you setting things right within yourself, that's what's going to open up the pathway in order for you to have the success that you seek. Okay. So Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.